On the outside, I would like to thank PSG the team and Dr. Rupal and uh, uh, the whole team for this wonderful program. I wish you them to have a great success. And today I'm going to present on the pre-diabetes with pregnancy. So the pre-diabetes is not uh, different than any other diabetes because it have a uh, similar outcome. So the pre-diabetes with pregnancy, when you look into it, the women identified with this in early pregnancy have been reported to have an increased risk of adverse pregnancy outcome compared with the women with lower age pregnancy level at the booking. So the major congenital malformation remain the leading cause of mortality and serious morbidity in infants of mothers with a type 1 and type 2. So there are several studies have established in association between the elevated maternal glucose or even HbA1c level during the embryogenesis and high rates of spontaneous abortion and major malformation in newborns. A clinical trial of preconception care to achieve the stringent blood glucose control in the preconception period and also during the first trimester pregnancy have been demonstrated a striking reduction in the rate of malformation and compared with the infant of women with the, with the diabetes who didn't participate in the preconception care. So in that way, the ADA 2020 has uh, re defined the elements of preconception care program. The patient education is about interaction of diabetes, pregnancy and family planning, education in diabetes, self-management scheme and physician directed medical care and lab testing, counseling by mental health professionals when indicated to reduce the stress and improve the adherence to the uh, diabetes treatment plan. These are the four elements are important for the patient to achieve the level of a sustained glycemic control, which is necessary to prevent the excess of congenital malformation and also spontaneous abortion. With this background, I would like to present one of my case. The year is a she is 20 year old female presented with a pre diabetes with the history of PCOS and also obese. She visited our center uh, uh, when uh, she came to us, her BMI was 31.2 obese category, and as they were planning for the pregnancy, we have taken proper diabetes and family history. Very unfortunate, she had two uh, abortions in the last six months. She was under stress, and uh, the known, uh, there was no cause for the abortion. Uh, but only thing because she has PCOS and also pre-diabetes, they uh, brought to us. And on physical examination, it looks obese. The signs of insulin resistance like insulin tax uh, and also acanthosis and agricans were present. Her BP was normal. There's no orthostatic changes. A dilated retinal examination by the ophthalmologist revealed no diabetic retinopathy. The cardiovascular screening was done, which was normal. Neurological examination has shown no signs of neuropathy. And lab evaluated the pre-diabetes status left PS was 110, post 180 mg per deciliter, A1C was 6.3, renal profile was normal, thyroid screening done, shown abnormal, no abnormality. Now coming in that case, when they came to us with the pre-diabetes, in general, because one point, in general, we need to treat them with a lifestyle and diet. The second thing, in this case, she already had two abortion and they're planning for pregnancy. So we need to consider the, both the factors and we need to treat them. In this case, actually, what we provided is the diabetes education at most important at any moment of uh, when we diagnose the diabetes or even the pre-diabetes stage. And lifestyle changes, as we know, the diet and exercise, that is the most important thing. And blood sugar monitoring, that's where most of the time we are going to miss even patients too. And most important, because she had even a history of uh, abortion, so needs to counsel her properly. Now coming to the diabetes and exercise, we know that the participation in the regular uh, physical activity, it improves the blood glucose control and can prevent or even delay the onset of type 2 diabetes. And both moderate working or even vigorous activity have been associated with a decreased risk and greater volume of physical activity may provide the most prevention. The Dequing study in China, which we all know study, included a even exercise only treatment harm and reported that even modest in exercise, like even 20 minutes of mild to moderate, 10 minutes of strenuous exercise, or even 5 minutes of very strenuous exercise, 1 to 2 times a day, it reduced the diabetes risk by 46%. And compared to the 42% for the diet plus exercise, and even 31% diet alone. So in that way, I think exercise play an important role. And we know the other familiar like uh, studies, like the Finnish 
diabetes prevention study and us diabetes prevention study that program dpp uh, program that is a well known studies they have shown that even pre diabetes level or even lifestyle and even diet modification will make a marked change in their life and arrest the progression of type 2 diabetes now we have given the, the proper exercise as well and come to the diet part emphasize advice on healthy balanced diet like eating is applicable to the general population when providing advice to the adult with type 2 diabetes was given to her encouraged to have a high fiber diet low glycemic index source of carbs in diet such as fruits vegetables whole grains pulses includes a low fat tea dairy product and oily fish and control the intake of the food containing the saturated and trans fatty acids as we consider like any other diet one of the most important factors particularly in the pregnancy is the weight gain we know that the table shows the weight gain target for the pregnancy depending upon the pre pregnancy weight range so the weight also play important role and in this case this patient has a obese category as her bmi was high uh, more than 30 so recommended weight gain was 5 to 9 but in this case before the pregnancy itself we plan to reduce her weight we advise her to reduce her weight by plan customized diet plan regular exercise advised by dietitian explain about the healthy weight during the pregnancy and with this actually the proper uh, preconception care so she revived after two months with the following blood reports her fasting sugar was 88 postprandial 118 and hbnc is 5.8 weight gain uh, the weight loss happened by five kilos ask them to proceed further with the pregnancy as glycemic control was good with a strict monitoring of glucose level and we referred to the substitution for initial assessment and she was prescribed the folic acid folate and essential uh, vitamin for a healthy pregnancy and even during uh, after that uh, the pregnancy was positive and upd was positive she followed up with us and even during that time she was having regular follow up with uh, us and she used to strictly monitor the blood sugar through the uh, we used to connect through the teleconsultation apps and actually uh, while even in the first trimester so again we followed the same recounseling was given about our diet exercise blood glucose monitoring and management of hypoglycemia few setting of psychological counseling given as she had two pregnancy loss in the past and after that i think she completed the full term and she delivered a male baby of weight 3.5 kg two months back and uh, asked her to strictly adhere to the diet and exercise and we asked her to monitor the sugar for every 6 month and most important uh, i think we put her on uh, cgms at that particular time even before the time and during the pregnancy as well you can see uh, she can able to maintain a good glycemic control throughout her pregnancy and we kept on changing every 2 to 3 months because you know the cgms is not very uh, cost effective so we asked her to monitor at least every 2 to 3 months once so we are able to get the uh, better readings through the pregnancy i think this is showing the her report and you can able to see that uh, she maintained very well throughout the pregnancy and pregnancy outcome was very good and uh, just i just wanted to highlight this case as even in pre diabetes is most important especially those who are planning for pregnancy so the as usually now the people who came with her, such a bad history we need to take care of them in a better way just treating any diabetes patient with this i would conclude my talk thank you thank you